Today, I'm going to show you how the G04, the time delay uh, code works. I've set up a little test program using a dial indicator and a 5 8 dial pin, 625 thousandths dial pin in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over and I'm going to come down 10 thousandths uh, but I'm going to wait two seconds in between movements and then I'm going to come back up. Now the indicator is only going to move five thousandths, but because we're in the diameter mode, uh, that would be ten thousandths on the pin itself. And here's how it works. Zero. That's pretty cool. It's a good way to keep testing things over and over until you could dial it all in. Now let me show you the program uh, and how we did it. Now here we have the standard header <clears throat> and this is G18 which means XZ, uh, G90 which is the absolute mode meaning that it has to start from zero, uh, machine zero, and G95 which is uh, inches per revolution. That's just a standard header. And we have tool 4, offset 4, and G00, which is rapid movement, and we're not going to change that. So it's going to follow through. We don't have to put it in again. It'll always stay in rapid. And we're going to start off with X minus 0.625 and Z uh, 50 thousandths out. Uh, and then we're going to wait two seconds, and we're going to go down 10 thousandths which gives us 615, we wait two seconds, we go down to 605, we wait two seconds and we go down 595. Then we wait two seconds, come back to 605, then up to 615, and then 625 again. We wait two seconds and then we go G53, which is send everything home, uh, Z0 and X0. This is a good time to point out, I could put these two on the same line. But I never take the chance. I, I just got in the habit of always sending the Z home first by itself, getting it out of the way, and then the X, just in case I made a mistake somewhere. And of course then we have M30, which is to shut down the whole program. It's pretty cool, and it works really well if you're going to test something over and over and over again and make adjustments.